Nkawosi Sechele I was a prominent figure in the history of the Bakwena people of Botswana. He was born around 1812 and ruled the Bakwena from 1824 to 1892. He was a powerful and influential leader who played a major role in shaping the history of Botswana. Sechele was born into the Kwena tribe, which is part of the Tswana people in present-day Botswana. At the age of 10, Sechele's father, the previous chief, was killed, leading to a division of leadership between his uncles. Sechele, along with his supporters, fled into the desert and spent some time among the Nguato people. Eventually in 1831, he succeeded in replacing one of his uncles as the ruler of half the Bakwena. In 1847, Sechele met Scottish missionary David Livingstone. Livingstone's influence was profound on Sechele, and he converted to Christianity shortly after their meeting. Sechele was eager to learn to read and write, and quickly became proficient, even teaching his wives to read. He was deeply interested in Christianity and sent five of his children to be educated by another missionary, Robert Moffat, at Kuruman. Sechele's conversion to Christianity had a significant impact on his role as a ruler. He served as a missionary among his own people and other African tribes, combining his position as chief with spreading the Christian faith. In 1852, Sechele led a coalition of Botswana tribes, including the Bakwena, Baka, Balete and Batlokwa in the Battle of Dimawe against the Boers. The battle ended in a stalemate, with Sechele's forces successfully defending Dimawe Hill. The conflict arose as a result of the Boers' establishment on the borders of the Greater Tswana lands during the Great Trek. Sechele's contributions and legacy are celebrated by the Bakwena and the Tswana people. The Kosi Sechele One Museum, located in Molepolole, Botswana, was established to preserve and promote the culture of Botswana, with memorabilia related to David Livingstone on display. Sechele is credited with laying the first foundation towards Botswana's independence. Kosi Sechele One's life represents the intersection of traditional leadership, Christian missionary work, and the preservation of culture. He was a complex and fascinating figure who played a significant role in shaping the history of Botswana.